Gee, I love my girlfriend so much. We look so happy together. And I just know she loves me too. Uh, she wouldn't do anything to betray my trust. I wonder what she's doing right now while I'm at work and not at home. Let me text her and see what she's doing. She's probably missing me crazy now that I started this new job. Uh, I just love her so much. Huh? She's busy right now. Oh, she sent a video. It must explain what exactly she's busy doing. Let's just open it up and... Hey yo, hey yo, my dog, my my dog, my nigga. Yo, she yeah, she busy, gang. She busy. Do you hear her right now? Do you hear her? Yeah, it's crazy. Scramble, scramble, going crazy. Yo, yeah, you just uh, drop her, gang. She not yours. She not yours. My two homeboys, they waiting. They turn next. <laughs> you feel me? It's over. It's over, gang. And yet. Another victim. This guy behind me, he just got cheated on. And in the worst way at that, like, damn. He is for sure gonna crash out later. I mean, look what happened to him. His girl just sent him a video of her getting fucked. <laughs> I think all of us would crash out. <laughs> and rightfully so. But I don't think a lot of people fully understand what happens during a crash out episode. So today, I'll educate you and take you through the five stages of a crash out. Enjoy. So at number one, we have the first stage, sadness. Upon triggering the crash out stages, sadness is the first feeling you will be feeling. At this stage, everything is still pretty new and you haven't fully processed the events that just, just happened. Only thing you know is that you are hurting and you are sad. You might cry a little bit here and there and be like, <laughs> How, how could she? But deep down, you knew. You knew that girl wasn't shit from the beginning. I mean, everybody in your friend group could see it. Why couldn't you? And so that sadness turns into realization. And that realization turns into the second stage. Pure rage. No, no, not that rage. I mean, anger. During this stage, logic is completely out the window. Your brain is <laughs> not useful. All you feel is anger. And so you might start throwing shit breaking hell if one of your homeboys is in the vicinity you might start attacking him i don't know it is very important to have someone around during this stage because this stage can lead you to a premature crash out and you don't want that if you're around good friends your anger should dial back a bit and you should be back to crying but if not you have entered the third stage the insanity stage at this point you have fully processed that your girl your queen your wifey was playing you the entire time and you start turning psycho planning your next move you might hit a who does she think she is i've given the best years of my life to that and she thinks she could just treat me like that like trash i don't think so you are having a full manic episode right now you're thinking about every possible way you're gonna send her and that nigga to the afterlife it seems like the more and more you lose your mind the more relaxed you become and that's not a good thing which leads us into the fourth stage the calm stage this is the most crucial stage during it you need to have friends that won't leave your side no matter what because you cannot be alone during this stage you have fully processed and accepted the fate of you and your soon-to-be victims you are dangerous you're about to be the next oj simpson and you're okay with that. Strangely enough, you feel at peace with life. You feel that no matter how this ends, you'll have no regrets. And if you reach the end of this stage, then say goodbye because you have passed the point of no return. Stage five, crash out. The worst stage of them all. You give in to all your violent urges and you do everything you said you were gonna do. The only person that makes it back out of that house is you. You get arrested, taken to trial, and sentenced to life without parole. You'll never see the light of day ever again. You rot away in a cell for the rest of your life, wondering where did it all go wrong? You die in your cell without ever fulfilling your potential in life. And even worse, you're sent to hell where you spend the rest of eternity burning in the purgatory flames with the rest of them. Damn. So the lesson here today is don't date a cheating ass bitch, bro. What the f Nah, but seriously, the lesson here is don't crash out. It's never worth it. If you asked any person who's ever crashed out in the history of crash outs, they'll be the first to tell you it don't make nothing better. It really just make everything 10 times worse. Don't make a permanent life decision based on temporary feelings. Just don't do it. If you're ever feeling crash out level of anger or sadness, just try to take a step back and ask yourself, will going up to my girlfriend's house and shooting her grandma in the ankle really fix my problems? 
Of course not. Are you insane? I've seen too many of my young niggas throw their lives away just because their feelings got the best of them. Trust me, it will eventually be okay. I know that's like some basic advice, but nigga, it's the truth. You'll be all right. Trust in God and surround yourself with good friends, good people, and you'll be okay. Trust me, you'll be all right. But that's it for this video. I want 30,000 likes on this video, so make sure to like. And we're almost to 100,000 subscribers, so make sure to sub up. But SLT, that's it for me. I love each and every one of you and i'll see you on the next one peace pop outside two g's in the sprinter sometimes sauce wear jeans in the winter you stuck on one side certain beats in the middle you remember those days i was stuck in the middle hey, i remember those days i was broke as a joke in the trash ass apartments i was living with a rope once a nigga hit a million no one nigga gonna go i'm a fly first class